by now you know that when I got on this red jersey and when I'm sitting in this like hospital chair kind of looking thing, you know that uh, I am speaking to you from the Kidney Dialysis Center um, who do a very great job of taking care of me and I am probably um, getting ready to um, share something with you from this space. Um, this isn't to shock you or to um, even to elicit or solicit your sympathy as much as it is to let you know that I am aware that as a human being who um, is in a life dilemma that actually doctors have stated that you know that, that say everyone in this particular dilemma the dialysis kidney dialysis thing they basically put a time period um, to your expiration date but I'm here to let you know that um, once you have been transformed by the renewing of your mind you really get in contact with the fact that doctors are not the author or finisher of your faith. So regardless of your dilemma, mine just happens to be every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday sitting on a machine that, um, because I have kidney failure, sitting on a machine that, you know, basically helps keep me alive um, and that I must, you know, do this in order to remain, you know, um, a conduit, a vessel. So don't look at morning coffee this morning as you are viewing a frail man. In fact, I'm going to take the words from my roommate, uh, uh, Sister Obi. She said, Rodney, you are a man in a tiny body who is going through a physical dilemma, I'm paraphrasing, that makes him appear frail. Check it out. But there's a giant in your spirit. So I am sitting, you know, on the machine this morning, not complaining. You know, I can honestly say I understand the lyrics to the song, I won't complain. Because if I complain, the dilemma would be the thing that would define my life. And that is not my choice today. I am empowered to be a conduit, a vessel for those who will watch in amazement and will think whatever it is that I'm going through, it just ain't that bad because it's not what this brother is going through. And then one day you will also be able to be the vessel and the conduit, the spokesperson um, for a loving God and people that need your help. You know, today I was having a conversation with the technician. I was very glad that she was very knowledgeable about um, how this machine, you know, operates and the intricacies you know I have lots of questions I, I want to educate you as, as as I even have morning coffee on dialysis and 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 let you know some things like that red thing that you see right here that's that's of course blood and there's a long tube that's attached to me and there's two needles not one two about this big um, see if I can get that right anyway they're big they're, it, look at my glasses about the of a half of that they go into my arm and one takes the negative blood out and one which is the blood with poison and then one puts blood back in now she has arrived so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna ask her some questions and I want you to listen you won't probably see her face because you know you know how things are consent um, but she's very knowledgeable she takes good care of me she has been my dialysis technician um, for a long time. I've been on it for 10 years. I've known her ever since I've been on it. Um, anyway, 
Her name's Mary Rose, and I'm just going to ask her some questions. So listen up, because I want you to be educated about this. So Mary Rose, what what's the life expectancy of a person that's on dialysis? As I said a while ago, it really depends upon, but normally it will take 20 years. Uh, there's a lot of factors. One factor is, of course, the age, okay? And uh, the age, and then, of course, if you're compliant mm -hmm. to treatment, mm -hmm. like you have to follow what the doctor will say, mm -hmm. like, for example, you have, there is a fluid that can only be taken. There, in other words, there's a maximum fluid that you can only take. Got but depending upon how big you are also. Mm -hmm. And also, you have to remember medication. You have to follow all that. And um, also, again, under the uh, compliance is staying in the treatment. It is very important that you stay in the treatment. If the doctor will say, you have to be here three times in a week, for four hours treatment, then you have to be very good with that. And you have to always, always, um, I guess it's in yourself that you have to think it positively. Right, you like your, your spirit can't be negative. Yes. Have you seen people with negative spirits? Yes. And a lot of them is not really doing good. Yeah. Mm. Because, you know, even if you're complying and everything, don't be nervous because there's a lot of people in dialysis. Right. They can even go cruises. Uh, there's a lot of options out you can there. Do, you can do things. Yes. Okay. And especially if you're young and very compliant and everything, hey, it's just a normal person. You can have a normal yeah, life. Yeah, normal life. Just like this person you're talking to, this is my ideal She's talking patient. about me. Listen, yeah. listen to this. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and talk to me, Rose. Yeah. I may cry. Go ahead. Because this person, he's in dialysis. He went to college. And I thought, okay, he'll just be in some colleges. But after two years, I heard he went to university. And not only that, he went to master of degree. Can you believe that? <laughs> I'm so happy for this person. He is... I don't know, I cannot describe him, but I wish he can disseminate information like this one, dialysis, because he is a very good example of a good patient, good personality, and everything. Well, thank you, Mary Rose. I appreciate <laughs> that. Um, I really appreciate that, and I'm going to tell you why I appreciate that. Because when I first got on dialysis, it was a death sentence for me. And like any other person that's going through any life, traumatic experience. It doesn't have to be um, dialysis. This just happens to be my dilemma. Um, it could be anything. Um, I didn't think that I had any more living to do. Um, I can't stop that beeping. Um, it's time for me to get off the machine, which may be, because you know I can be lengthy, may be time for me to just be quiet. Um, but I do want to leave you with this. You need to stand in the gap. What helped me to get to where I am is people that love me until I can Rocky learn Darling. to love myself. Yes, we're updating our contact information. Gotcha. If you want to fill out and what also later. helped me to that. encourage um, my soul is I hung around people that wanted to live until they died, not people that had made something a death sentence. So no matter what it is that your dilemma is, it may not be this, no matter what it is, the reason Mary Rose was able to describe to you the type of person that she has seen in me is God had breathed in my spirit through loving and caring people, um, being around people that, you know, have that energy that you need. When I even started the journey to go back to school, I thought it was impossible and I was embarrassed because on many days I looked like a very sick, frail little man. But like I said, there's a giant in my spirit that kept me pressing on. So. What I am sharing with you is press on. Don't let nothing stop you from reaching your goal or dream. You have no excuse. You have none. 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 You have no excuse. It is your assignment to live your God-given life.
is he he or she? Hmm? Is that he or she? Is she he? Oh, I'm speaking to the whole people, to everybody. But you see, it's just the same as normal person. You could be standing right there. <clears throat> Listen to Mary Rose. And somebody will hit. Mm -hmm. You'll be hit by a car. Right. Because remember, tomorrow is not a promise. Right. So you have to make the best of it. I in a I'll, nice, in a good way. I think I'll end on that now. <laughs> no matter what goes on down the pike, you got to make the best of it. Um, and not all of us have that energy to do that. That's why we have angels standing in the gap being vessels, conduits, praying for us to get through. You know, don't forsake those prayers of the righteous because they're effective and they avail much. This is Morning Coffee. Have a very peaceful day.